All right, guys, this is Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler, who's probably the most liberal. He's probably one of the most liberal mayors in the, in the country. He's more liberal than even the sisters that are mayors. He's the mayor of Portland. He was elected to be the mayor of Portland. Let that sink in. This guy was elected by the people of Portland to be their mayor. He ran in an election with other candidates in Portland who only has a Democratic primary, much like D.C., where there's no Republican primary. So what I'm saying is that whoever wins the Democratic primary wins the election because there's nobody running on the Republican side. He won out of all those people who ran in Portland. That's how liberal he is. A few months ago during the protest, he went out there and tried to protest and tried to be down with the cause. And they violently chased him out and his security had to shield him from projectiles and bottles being thrown at him. And now he has the nerve to think that he can go to a restaurant and have dinner with his wife. <laughs> because during the 100 days of protests, over 100 they've been protesting straight in Portland. The police have used tactics to keep them under control. And the people are not happy about it, especially the tear gas. <laughs> Because you know white people don't get tear gassed. Only black people get tear gassed. Not these white liberals that's in Portland protesting. They're not complaining about being tear gassed, are they? Because <laughs> I thought tear gas is only for black people. That's what I've been hearing the last couple of days. And um, a few things I want to say. Before we get into this, um, this video, the, 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 before we get deep into this video, I want to tell you guys a few things. I'm really upset about this narrative that's not being pushed back against. That somehow, if those were Black Lives Matter protesters that had stormed the Capitol building, they would all been shot down like dogs. <laughs> these liberals, these Black Lives Matter protesters, which 90% of them are white, have been burning down cities. all over this country at the behest of women like Ayanna Presley who's who's a who's a a congresswoman from Massachusetts she says there needs to be unrest in the streets that's her quote during the height of this she said there need to be unrest in the streets This woman, out here looking like Michael Wilbon. I know y'all all know who this sister, sister is. Semi-sister. She a semi-sister. She says, protesters should not let up. As they were burning down the streets of America. And none of them were killed by cops. None of them. Cops were kneeling. Y'all remember that crap? Cops were kneeling with these people. They want to talk about the cops were, 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 were being nice to the, um, to, the, to the people who stormed, the Trump supporters who stormed the Capitol at first. Well, the cops were kneeling with these people. And this is Auntie Maxine Waters. <laughs> who said, if you see anybody from that cabinet, meaning the Trump cabinet, if you see anybody from his cabinet in a restaurant, this is a congresswoman telling, telling people if you see anybody from Trump's cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, 
You get out and create a crowd and you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And now this has come back to, these chickens have come back to roost on Ted Wheeler. And it's going to be more democratic politicians who are deemed not liberal enough. And this is the, this is, you know who this old hag is. This is Nancy Pelosi. She says, I just don't know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. Listen to this rhetoric from these Democratic women. And I don't, I don't even have a quote from AOC or Ilhan Omar or Rashida Tlaib. I didn't even include their remarks. Ted. Sorry, Ted. We can't help you, Ted. <laughs> you emboldened these people. Isn't that the word they like to use with Trump all the time, emboldened? You emboldened these people. You told these people in Portland to go out and protest and to act a fool, and they never stopped. And now they're coming to eat you. The left always eats itself. That's one thing about the left. You hear a lot about rhinos, Republicans in name only, and traitorous Republicans, yeah, that happens. But the left actually eats itself because there's no restraint, there's no control, there's no discipline. They're liberal. Liberal mean anything goes. Um, excess, wanton, recklessness, the opposite of conservative, which is restrained, reasoned measured they're liberal so they get out of control easily and they always eat themselves this guy got punched in the face the mayor got punched in the face one of the most liberal mayors in the country got punched in the face by the uh, Antifa, which doesn't exist, which is a myth, which has nothing to do with the Democratic Party, according to CNN and MSNBC. Mm -mm -mm. And a quick special thanks to all you guys that have been donating and supporting the channel. Salute to you guys, man. It only makes sense, man. We should, this, we should be getting 20, 30 donations a day at this channel because... This is the only channel where you get this the stories we give you, this perspective we give you. No other channel gives you that. And when I say channel, I'm talking about all my channels in congruence. So make sure you let's have a let's have a um a, a sub party right now. Go sub to all my channels. The links are in the description box. Day Nation Gold, Ock Nation TV, and Living Room Gangster. Sub to the other channels other than this one fresh videos every day as some as you know I put videos on I try to put videos on on all my channels at least every other day some days I put videos on all my channels every day so if you're only seeing the content on this channel if, if you're asking me why don't you do a video on this have you done a video on that Man, you should do a video on this. A lot of times, I've already done that video. It's on another channel in my network. Okay? So, make sure you sub to all the channels in the description box. And it's, it's, it's very disappointing that there's very little pushback against the violence that the left has been doing for the last, what, six months? Now that... Uh, a couple of Republicans, old, elderly, and most of those people were old. They said they said the majority of the protesters at the Capitol the other day were in their 40s and 50s and 60s. <laughs> Three of them had heart attacks, <laughs> which is not funny, but it just goes to show you, like, most of the people were older. Very few young ones, and the young ones are the ones that stormed the Capitol. 
And it's just funny that they're saying now, if that would have been black people, man, if that would have been BLM, it wouldn't have been black people if it would have been BLM. <laughs> if it would have been Black Lives Matter protesters, it would have been white people. The majority of them would have been white. However, let's play a game that it would have been black protesters. Are you telling me that a black woman, are you telling me that a black woman would have been climbing a, a barricade, would have been like forcing her way, I guess, into a, a room, an unarmed black woman <laughs> would have been climbing like over like a, a desk into like a, a, a room that was being barricaded and somebody would have just shot her down like a dog with everybody's cell phone cameras rolling. This woman would pose no threat. They could have subdued her. They could have grabbed her and subdued her. But the fact that they shot her, I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm not upset because she should have stopped. And, 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 and the police officer didn't know she was unarmed. We only found out that she was unarmed afterwards. See how that works out? You only, they, the police don't know you're unarmed at first. They don't know if you got a gun in your, in your waistband, a gun in your backpack, a gun in this place, a gun in your, tucked in your, in the in, inner lining of your coat. They don't know. So they shot her. They shot first and asked questions later. And now, there's two stories. There's, if these were black people, they would have all been killed. All of them would have been killed. Then it's like, well, this woman, she got killed. Well, she she deserved it. Because <laughs> of what she did. What? Okay. Fine. So she did something that led to her death. I've never heard anybody on the left use that type of language when there's been a black person that's been killed. This woman should have obeyed commands that were giving her commands to stop. If she had disobeyed them and she got shot, oh well. Had she not disobeyed those commands, she would still be here. But this notion that somehow if these people at this protest would have been black, they would have all been shot down like dogs is bull crap. Black people have been tearing up cities all summer, destroying them, burning them to the ground, looting and pillaging. But it's not the capital. It don't matter that it's not the capital. They didn't go to the capital Black people didn't go to the Capitol because they didn't care about the Capitol. Had black people cared about going to the Capitol, they would have stormed the Capitol too. They didn't care about that. Black people don't get, get changed in this country through politics. They get changed in this country through demonstrations and protests and dis disrupting things and causing unrest. Each group has a different way of get, getting things done. Asians and Jews, they use financial means. They use money. They, 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 they pull their money together and they start PACs. When I say PAC, I mean a PAC, P-A-C, Political Action Committee. So then, and then they, and then they, 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 they use lobbyists. White people use the government, their congressmen, they write their congressmen, they put pressure on their congressmen and their senators, they vote people in to office that have their interests on both sides, whether they're Democrat or, or, or Republican.
black people, they're all Democrats. So the fact that all black people are Democrats, and when I mean all, I mean like 90% of them. And Democrats don't do anything for black people. Their pol black political power is completely neutralized. So black people have to resort to other means to get their message out, to get heard. Perfect world, the, 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 the party that black people voted for 90% would actually do something for them, would actually address their needs that the community has. But actually, that's not what happens. For 60 years, black people have been voting for a political party that does absolutely nothing for them except use them as a political tool like Biden, who Joe Biden did when he said what he said yesterday. No one can tell me that if it had been a group of Black Lives Matter protesting yesterday, there wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been treated very, very differently than the mob of thugs that stormed the Capitol. We all, we all know that's true. And it is unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. That's reparations. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it because these businesses have insurance. They would have all been shot down like dogs. <laughs> When has that ever happened? Even in Black Wall Street, and I'm gonna drop that Black Wall Street. Hit the hit hit the link and hit me a reply in the comment section if you want the the truth about Black Wall Street. I did an excellent documentary on the block Black Wall Street. What really happened? Even they weren't shot down like dogs. When has it ever happened? When has there ever been a time throughout our history, modern history, where some black people protested and they just got shot down like dogs? And this is coming from Joe Biden. This message is coming from Joe Biden. who despises black people. Get in the comment section, like, subscribe, donate. Peace. I'm out.